Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use OpenAI in Excel VBA. So I've seen a lot of tutorials online on how to use uh, Google Sheets with uh, OpenAI, but I haven't seen any for Excel yet. Uh, so I hope this video is going to be helpful for, for you. So in this tutorial, we'll be uh, using OpenAI API to generate responses in Excel VBA. We'll be using the Text DaVinci 3 model, which is a uh, uh, if you don't know, it's a state-of-the-art language model developed by OpenAI. So it's pretty similar to uh, ChatGBT. Uh, before we been, begin coding in VBA, uh, you'll just need to create an account here at beta.openai.com slash accounts API keys. Uh, you can find it if you go under your um, account name here, you'll see uh, API keys. So create a new secret key, make sure to copy that. And, uh, and then we can get started. So you'll need to go into a new Excel file. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. You'll need this uh, developer tab here. So if you've never made a macro or VBA code before, you'll need to activate this. I'll put a little link in the description that'll show you how to do this. If it's your first time, it's uh, not too difficult. Um, then you'll want to go into Visual Basic. So you see this Visual Basic, and we're going to create a new module. So click Insert Module. All right. So this is our function in uh, VBA. You can either have a function or a subroutine. Uh, we're going to be making a formula. So. Uh, it's just like, you know, when you use sum or whatever else, but this one we're calling open AI. So you write equals open AI and you'll put your prompt in here. Okay. So we, uh, made a bunch of variables here that we're now going to use. All right. So since I don't want to give my API key, uh, you just insert whatever your API key is that you got at the very beginning when you made your account here. Okay, so you'll need this uh, URL, and you can see within this URL, you have, um, it's an endpoint, but within it, you have the engine that we're using. So we're using Text DaVinci 3, which I believe is still the most powerful um, engine available, but there's other ones that you can experiment with as well. Okay, so this thing is uh, this MSXML2, uh, create object thing is used to send the request to the API and then receive the uh, response. So we then need to open it. So we'll use uh, response dot open and then post. Okay, so we just added these three lines. Uh, so this is telling it uh, that's uh, in JSON the body, and then this is. Uh, to give it the API key. And then last, we just have our prompt and uh, we're also going to set the amount of max tokens that we're allowed to use there. All right, so we just did a bit of uh, text manipulation with the JSON to get the response because we don't want to get everything. And one more thing. Uh, when I run it, I keep getting these like backslash ends. So let's just get rid of those. So we'll say if there's a backslash n, let's replace it with nothing. Oh, I just noticed I had a small typo here. Um, I put two colons. So just make sure that it matches up the line like this and it should work and get what we actually want. So see, it's working. I asked, hi, how are you? I said, I'm good, thank you, how about yourself? Uh, let's try something different. Okay, so I got some questions here and let's see how it answers these. So we'll drag this all the way down and give it a little bit of time to uh, refresh. It's a little slow-ish for me. So it's generating the responses to all of these. 
And um, let's have a look through these. Why is the sky blue? The sky is blue because it is scattered by the gases and particles in the Earth's atmosphere. Why does the moon appear in daytime? Uh, the moon appears in daytime because it reflects sunlight. Uh, this, how much does the sky weigh? The sky does not have a weight. Uh, what makes a rainbow? A rainbow is created once. So, I mean, you get the idea. It's just like ChatGBT. You could have a bunch of prompts here and drag it down. Maybe you have uh, questions you need answered. Uh, could be used for a wide, wide range of use cases. Uh, you can let me know what you end up using this for. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this was helpful.